Welcome back to the Makeshift Podcast. This is podcast number 63. I have a good question to start us off. I have a funny, not funny, not funny. It's not funny? Not funny. We don't think it's but funny. But it's crazy. Is it? It's a crazy question. Can't wait. What kills more people per year? So I have a bunch of head-to-head matchups here. Okay. This is going to go not funny at all. Not funny, <laughs> but intense. What kills pe- more people per year? Champagne corks or fireworks? This is insane. It is. is insane. Where do they pull these numbers I from? I have no idea. Uh, they have roundabout numbers. I want to say fireworks, but I'm going to say it's champagne corks. It is champagne corks. I'm, I'm going with the reverse psychology today because I'm always wrong. Over 20 people per year are killed by champagne corks. What happens? What are they guys that pop it and they, the choke on it? What's choke? Maybe take the an eye? eye? Maybe the eye? That's not going to kill you, is it? If it gets the right part. Temple? Take out Quick your, knockout? Jugular? Jugular? If you have a cut? That's yeah. got to be a horrible <laughs> celebration. Like, you're yeah, like, hey, yeah, let's go. Yeah, that's probably horrible. Fireworks, there's only eight people per year that die. Okay. Jet skis or lawnmowers? Oh. A lawnmower must be a tragic death. It, it probably is, but I think now you're trying to fool me. See, I'm in your head. You don't think I am, but I'm in your head. I'm going jet ski. You're wrong. Okay. Lawnmowers <laughs> kill more people. They kill 70 people per year. What? How? I guess people, did they go a little if, rogue? You know those guys that put on the headphones, they just... They're just mowing. Yeah, well, that's, they run over somebody, planting, cutting the weeds out. That's the ideal state of man. Is is killing someone? In on, no, <laughs> headphones lawnmower. in on a lawnmower. Yeah, you ever see with um, a beer? Have you seen the video where that they attach the lawnmower to a string and it goes around a pole? Yes, I did. And see then that. therefore cuts the yep. whole lawn. Yep, it's brilliant. Yeah, it is. Brilliant. What a genius. That is brilliant. So lawnmowers kill seventy people. Jet skis kill forty to fifty per year. What about skydiving or tornadoes? Now, skydiving, people may think it's not safe, but I think it's a lot safer than it is. Yeah, I would assume so because I've never done it, but I would assume it's safe because a lot of people do it. I would never do sky. If we ever do, I would do it. I wouldn't. There's that's my only if no, only for the show. No, only for the show. (laughs) No, that only for the show. Brian, that never happens. That I'm never riding King Ka. What? I won't do it. I've never ridden it either. I won't do it. All right. Um, let's go. I'm going to go not the skydiving one. Whoa. Tornadoes. I'm going to go tornadoes. That's correct. Tornadoes kill 80 people per year. Tornadoes are dangerous. I mean, you, you don't. Yeah, they are. Don't, don't over. Did you ever see Wizards of Oz? No, sorry. Don't underestimate the weather. Yeah. Never underestimate. People think they could go out in these storms. They think like they're the weatherman that goes outside <laughs> and reporting like your on mom. it. I, yeah, well, <laughs> she's afraid of lightning. Thunder. And then uh, tor- uh, skydiving kills about 22 people per year. Yeah, that's tough. I think they take the average over the years. I have that's another fair. one for you. What, some years more than others? Maybe. More windy years? Yeah, maybe. You ever try skydiving during a tornado? No. Bad idea. That's a terrible idea. What happens if... Okay, forget it. <laughs> <laughs> what kills more people per year? Vending machines or sharks? Vending machines? People shaking them, they tip? Is that what's going on? I would assume so, Is that yeah. what's going on? Glass breaks on you. Or you your get... hand gets stuck in the bottom? Well, I don't think that it's <laughs> like it chops your hand off. But. <laughs> it doesn't. It's uh, definitely the vending machine falls on you. I'm going to say vending machines are heavy. You're right. I think you're trying to surprise me. Vending machines kill 15 people per year. Sharks only kill five. Still wouldn't. Sharks are with, friends, not food. I'm not swimming with sharks Other for way content. Way. There's certain things that in this relationship we will not do. You wouldn't do that? I would not swim with sharks. I don't in care. A cage? Put, cage put diving? Me, forget it. Put I would do in, cage diving. I would not do cage diving. You wouldn't do anything. I wouldn't do it. I'm, I'm a scaredy cat. That's how I live my life. All right. What about falling out of bed or coconuts? Oh. Co- coconuts <laughs> coconuts kill a lot of people <laughs> do they yes <laughs> or falling out of bed or falling out of bed give me the coconut the underdog <laughs> you're incorrect coconuts <laughs> kill 150 people per year though. that's well that's insane falling out of bed 450 people die coke oh uh, well 450 okay. people die falling yes out of bed. but the elderly bunk beds but the bunk beds are horrifying <laughs> but but it's the elderly probably it's probably the bunk they beds get up too. they fall is it the bed's fault is it because it could be drunk people on top of bunk beds too that's <laughs> that's what i think of i mean maybe ladders or trains you know i feel like some foolish people step in front of trains like not accidentally <laughs> but foolish sorry not yeah foolish foolish yeah like I feel like if I put my hand out and touch a train, I wouldn't get hurt. Yeah, I think it would chop it off. You think? I think so. I don't know. When it's slowing down and stuff, I feel like you could touch it. You never feel yeah. that? No, I've never feel, I'm like that. a child. No. I just want to touch it. The subway? Uh, and then I, ladders includes like falling off a ladder? Yeah. Too. I'm going to say, oh yeah, well, I think I'm going to say it has to be ladders. It's not ladders. Okay. Ladders kill 300 people per year. 
Trains kill a thousand people per year. It's a lot of people. That's more than coconuts. I got most of this information from PETA. Oh. Because they were comparing these things to sharks. Oh. They're like, you could die in so many different ways. Well, and people shouldn't be terrified of sharks then. Yeah, but you know what's Five worse? people. Well, I guess it's year. not worse. It's, you know, eating what's hot bad? dogs kills 77 people. Yeah, but people how many per people year? get bit by sharks and survive? Uh, probably less than you think. I think it's, well, it's probably more than the deaths. It's definitely more than this. 70. 70. Okay. That's a little bit, but five die. Five to six deaths per year in 2022, especially. Interesting. Yeah. So I thought that was a cool hot start to the podcast. Hey, I love it. I love it. I got a text message today right before this podcast. Mm -hmm. It was late in breaking news. I had to share it. Share away. Okay. At Hibachi, what does the chef toss to you? Um, When he flipped the ding. Ding. Oh, it's some type of vegetable. Yeah. Do you know I what? I hate it. Um, is it like a, like celery? It's zucchini. Zucchini. Now, this is what I said. We're from New Jersey. This is what this is what we say. What? Apparently, the rest of TikTok, shrimp. I've oh, never been tossed shrimp. Definitely not shrimp. Appar- they are they are they do not give you enough shrimp. They only give you two shrimp per meal, and they're not throwing them around. Apparently, we're in the minority. New Jersey, That's crazy. we live in this bubble of zucchini-tossing hibachi what? chefs, and apparently the rest of the country gets shrimp. There's no way. And apparently, some places, they do rice balls. <laughs> rice balls are like the size of a fist. I think they're like baby, where they chop up a rice ball I and toss rice it. Balls. I don't think they toss the full thing. That would be outrageous. Yeah. But I think it's crazy. But apparently, we're the only ones that do zucchini. I think that's wild because why would you go wasting shrimp? You like, I would say not us, but 50% of the time people are dropping. Yeah. They're oh. dropping the zucchini or Absolutely. the shrimp and you're just going to waste expensive shrimp. Zucchini is like a dollar for every whatever. Yeah. I've never <laughs> bought Sleeve? zucchini before. But <laughs> what a shrimp coming. Never Sleeve? ate zucchini. Um, but you know, what was I going to say? I catch it and then I spit it out. Oh, you don't even eat it? No, I just catch it for fun. I got a streak going, like everyone claims yeah. they do. But I got a streak going. I don't think I've ever dropped. A I zucchini. believe it. But I've missed one, but I've caught the second. So I've you never have dropped. No, I've never missed two consecutively. Okay, that's a good. At least good, in the last, let's call record. it fifteen years. You might hold the record. But apparently, like hibachi, what's your favorite thing at hibachi? Chicken and rice. No, no, no. Like your favorite like trick event thing oh, that they the, do. The volcano. It has to be the volcano. Yeah, it's electric. I don't know. I kind of like when he tosses the egg in his hat. Yeah, the egg's good. And then and then he cuts the egg in midair. You ever see that? Not really. We got to go. Gotta, I really like hibachi. We have to go. I want to go soon. We'll go soon. I we'll really want to go soon. We used to go for my birthday all the time. I, I feel like, like that's a big mm, birthday. That was like my thing. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. All right. Uh, we're talking about food here. I want to talk about something about food. Uh, in what order do you do these things? Cereal and milk. Which one goes first? Well, if you're a sane person, you put the <laughs> cereal in and then you pour the milk after. Cereal and then the milk. I think any person on this planet that does it the opposite way deserves to be interviewed and potentially go to jail. Just, oh, they Jesus need to be Christ. questioned and they need someone to lock them up because. I don't know why you would do that. How long would you get locked up for doing that? <laughs> I don't know that the crime's probably like... Maybe like overnight. Oh, I was going to say like a year, year and a half. <laughs> <What>? <laughs> that's, that's a severe crime in this country and in the world. I mean, yeah, I mean, I don't need a lot of cereal, but when I do, I put the cereal in first and then the milk. I'd rather you And pour- then you drink the milk after the cereal because you get the chocolate peanut butter one with the Reese's, you get Cocoa Puffs, you get chocolate milk. Yeah, it's just the delicious. Drink of all I'd time. rather someone pour it at the same time than go before and after. That, that could get messy. It could get messy, but it takes a special talent. What about what about deodorant and shirts? Which one goes first? Well, you have to put the deodorant on after you put the shirt on. I do that too. You have to. I thought you were going to say the opposite, but I'm happy that you said that. No, I because- go shirt and then... In, in. You know, I've been really struggling with my deodorant choice recently. There's, Why? I don't know, for some reason I'm putting it on and it's like not protecting for the full time it says it's supposed to protect for. Interesting. I might be switching deodorant brands. Oh. Um, but if you get like the white deodorant, the white sick, and you're wearing a black yeah. shirt and you put it on after you put the deodorant on, you get stripes on your shirt. And then you got to put... After you put... You got to put cotton on cotton Socks. to be able to get it off. Socks? Socks. I think I don't know. Well, uh, oh, yeah. so- to rub it. Yeah, to rub yeah, it. It's cotton on cotton. Yeah. It doesn't matter what yeah. it is. But you get the white stripes on your shirt from the deodorant if you put it on after. Yeah, and then sometimes if I put on a backpack and I'm late for work, I can't get in there because it's the backpack's holding it. Whatever. Oh. I put on like a, a polo, 
and then I've tucked my polo in for work, oh, and then you got to untuck. And oh, I put a full suit on before. Yeah. Oh, it's you got to get whole, totally undressed. I unbutton and then I go in if that happens. Oh, wow. I go in from here, and then sometimes with the polo, I'll go from this angle. That's crazy. I'll, I'll just make sure <laughs> I get a little spray. Maybe that's why my deodorant's not working Probably. as effectively <laughs> as it should be. Uh, what about brushing your teeth and showering? What's first? Brush the teeth. Well, well. Now brush the teeth. You brush the teeth. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I switch it up. I have a whole thing. I go about 50, 50. I got a whole thing about brushing teeth. If we want to get into that yeah. next, well, we'll Let's get into it. that get next in. because there, there's next. a big debate to be had here. Sometimes I, I would prefer brushing my teeth before my shower because then when I get out of the shower, I feel totally clean. Yeah. And then after the shower, you're like, oh, I don't want to brush my teeth now. I would prefer to do it before. Sometimes I forget. You ever, uh, you ever brush your eyelids? And no. by that, I mean with, uh, with the bees. Bird bees. You ever bees? I have. Bees in the trap. It's intense. Yeah, put the mint one on. It's intense. And you get a little awakening. A little like kooky. Coffee and brushing your teeth. A little kooky. For your eyes. No, but uh, you have to brush your teeth prior. You have to. Because I think you come out, you're all wet, you want to dry off, and then you're going to do that afterwards. And I then agree. what? And then what are you going to do? But then you do your facial cleansing, too. Yeah, it's a whole, whole process to the bathroom. Yeah. You got to get a down pat. Let me know your brushing teeth thing. Oh, you want it? Yeah. You I want, want the it. brushing teeth thing? I want to hear it. I want it. Well, I'm going to ask you the question. Ask me the question. Do you brush your teeth before or after breakfast? <laughs> well, this doesn't really qualify for me. I don't qualify for this. I don't eat breakfast. Okay. I thought you were going to say you don't brush your teeth. No. <laughs> <laughs> I was like, well, I do brush my teeth. <laughs> I was like, wow, this, I don't doesn't, eat breakfast. this doesn't apply to you. You're above everyone um, else. If I were to eat breakfast, I think I would brush my teeth before breakfast, which probably isn't the right thing to do That I now that I think about it. But realistically, with my routine, I would brush my teeth, shower, get all that stuff done, and then go on my day and eat breakfast and work. The problem with brushing after is you don't brush after lunch. You don't no. brush after dinner. Yeah, you do. So, well, like an extended period of time after. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You're not like immediately rushing to go brush. No, yeah. Um, Healthline.com says brushing your teeth right when you wake up is better than brushing mm. after breakfast. So that's what I would do. That's well, what I do now. Well, because you get like the, the, the tartar, I think it's called the tartar like tuna tartar like the the plaque and stuff on your teeth <laughs> okay. if you eat breakfast before brushing your teeth you're actually eating the tartar that builds up overnight from sleeping that's kind of gross it is kind of gross and apparently if you do brush after breakfast you should wait 30 to 60 minutes before you eat 30 to now after breakfast after you eat yes you got to let everything kind of clear out of the mouth you know uh, you got to you know, let it clear interesting. away interesting but I've been an after breakfast person my whole oh, life. So now you're changing. I, yeah, I think I have to change. You have to. Health.com, healthline.com. <laughs> I would, I, I mean, I do before. I usually brush my teeth as soon as I get up. I usually brush my teeth, hop in the shower, and then go about my day. But if you brush, then you eat, then you're actually leaving more on your teeth after breakfast. That doesn't bother? That wouldn't bother you? No. It's like, it's like why? why? I, think, I think the plaque and residue that stays on my teeth after I sleep is more annoying than the plaque and residue after I eat. Like, I don't really notice it that much. I guess so. I'd rather have the feeling after I eat than the feeling after I But then, like, say you I have, like, up. eggs and stuff for breakfast, and then your breath isn't smelling great. Like, do you have a piece of gum? Do you have mint? Like, it's... it's don't it eat just, breakfast. Trick question. I have to eat breakfast. <laughs> I have to get my calorie count in for the day. You don't. Uh, yeah. So, yeah. I would do it before. But I have a food question, which is a very interesting food question. Ooh. And uh, I got this from Sambucha. Shout out, Sambucha. He did this a while ago. Um, guess the price of these fictional foods. Oh, so there's prices to these foods. Crazy. What do you? What do you? What do you mean? Who? How much is a Krabby Patty? Oh, three ninety nine. You're Wait, very. Is it in a different currency? No, no, no. Okay. no, no, no. It's not in like kelp, <laughs> I was, kelp bucks. I was gonna kelp say. bucks. I didn't sure. No, it's two ninety nine. Okay, so that's pretty good. That's a cheap burger. I wasn't that far off. It's the best in the sea. I mean, that's better than In and Out on Wednesdays. <laughs> they have a ninety nine cent burger deal. Oh, really? Yeah. Do they? <laughs> Isn't that insane? Well, it's like cheaper than Dollar Wing Night. Yeah, it's the same price. Dollar you're burgers a burger on Wednesdays. Per, oh, that's pretty impressive. I know. What about the? Uh, what about Ratatouille's Ratatouille? Or no, what about Remy's Ratatouille? See, this is interesting because it's definitely a fancier restaurant. It's in Paris. Oh, it's in Paris. It's in Paris. Mm. In fake Paris, I guess. But yeah, Paris. And it's his signature dish. In a high star. I'm Probably just, five star restaurant. <laughs> I'm just going to base it off of like a New York dish okay. for dinner. Let's go $35.99. 
No. You overshot a little bit. A little bit? $20. 20 20 Cheap. Well, I guess they give you so little food. You ever see that thing? Remy there's like nothing on the plate. He's the man. Yeah, but there's nothing on the plate. And the mouse cooked it. Yeah. Whoa. <laughs> he's a rat. He's a rat. My bad. <laughs> Jesus apologies. Christ. My apologies to the rat community. Yeah, seriously. And then what about the everlasting gobstopper? Oh. Do you know what that is? Yeah, it's Willy Wonka. Yeah. It never loses its flavor. 49 cents? No. Through two ninety nine. You are so off. Oh, it's a lot. It's a lot. It's a lot. It never loses its flavors throughout your entire lifespan. What? It's <laughs> everlasting. So you could just have it forever. Yes. It's an everlasting candy. It doesn't seem real. It's not real. It's fictional. <laughs> All these things are fictional. Uh, I guess you started the segment by saying that. Oh, I don't know. Have another guess. Ninety nine, ninety nine, a hundred thousand dollars, hundred thousand, a hundred thousand. What technology did Willy it's Wonka? Willy Wonka. Come up? He also no. made gum that you could float up into the air. So obviously, it's not. But real. whoever bought the everlasting gobstop? I don't know. I'm just telling you the prices. I've never bought it. Hundred thousand. I don't think you'd spent a hundred thousand dollars in your life on candy. Period. Yeah, I don't think so either. No, not even unless close. you're buying the Halloween candy bags. A lot. So if you're buying a candy, that doesn't that price doesn't make sense. It's not justified. You're never going to. Yeah, I wouldn't buy it. It's probably a rich people <laughs> thing. <laughs> it's like a collector's item. Yeah, probably. It's like a Travis Scott shoe. That's fair. Should I stay on the theme of uh, uh like hygiene and everything? Yeah. Why we're we running with it for a little yeah, bit? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Why not? Why not? Why not? Why do people never wash jackets? Because they don't get dirty. Okay, that's what I thought. I've never washed my jacket in my entire life. I don't think I, I have either. I wouldn't. I also wouldn't wash it because the zippers would like be, be really noisy. What? <laughs> that's, <laughs> that's the a, only. That's the reason why you wouldn't totally wash it. Side note: Apparently, you're supposed to wash your jacket every four to five wears, which is ridiculous. I would never do that. Yeah, I mean, you're prob- We probably should wash our jacket. Why do you have to wash jeans? This is your argument, right? You say every few wears. Yeah. Why can you get away with not washing a jacket? Well, I think the jackets are not direct contact with your skin. Yeah, but if the same thing, like if you're wearing a hoodie and you're wearing a t-shirt underneath, I guess it's still getting a little bit. I guess. I'm, I mean, I think that we should wash our jackets. I think that I'm wrong. <laughs> and I think that you should probably wash jackets, especially if you're wearing them outside only. Yeah, like outside is probably the dirtiest areas. Eh, well, maybe not. Whatever. Well, I think so. Like, I think it would be. And if you're bringing it inside, like you're tossing, it on, rains. you're tossing it on like a random couch somewhere yeah. or you're hanging up in a bar. It's still getting dirty and people never wash their jackets. I don't know anyone yeah. that's washed their jacket before. I'm sure you know somebody. Like you go snowboarding. Like you go snowboarding. <laughs> yeah. Right. You go yes. sto- afterwards. Are you washing your jacket? That jacket has been washed. Has it? Yes. Because those get really, really wet and like gross and like muddy sometimes. Okay. So, you so do those, throw those will get washed. What about like a sweat no. jacket? Yeah. No, I don't wash them. Yeah, regular winter jacket. Oh, uh, yeah, I'll wash the sweat jacket. Just not like my winter jacket. I'm not washing the winter jackets. No. They're big. They are big. That's like washing your comforter. What, you never do that? No, I do that, but it's just <laughs> like you got to throw <laughs> it you, in. And it's oh, the only thing in size wise. I was like, oh, no one needs to wash their comforter either. Uh, I, had a, I had a good question that was very similar to this. Yeah? Yeah. It's just like the same exact thing that what you've been saying. So okay. how often do you wash your sheets? Oh, this is bad. Yeah, I want to hear it. Zach. I figured really, this is going to be bad. This for is you. really bad. Yeah, this is. Let's hear it. I've never. I've, no, 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 no. I actually just washed my sheets the other day. Oh, let's get a Sorry. round of applause. Wait, there. wait, wait, wait. Sorry, I didn't wash them. I just replaced them on my bed. Okay. okay. The uh, the pair is still dirty. Okay, but you, how? So, so how often? <sighs> just say it. Just say it. Two months, three months. It's Two, bad. Three months. It's bad. I am not an adult. In college, was it worse? Yeah. Yes, once Which a semester. Is horrible. <laughs> when you it's came home, very not sanitary. Um, yeah, just not something I prioritize. It <laughs> would be different if I had a washer dryer like in my apartment. I would do it more often. Yeah, I know. It's an inconvenience. I do my laundry here. For people who have listened to the podcast before, I do my laundry in this house. Yeah, I come down every two weeks. I do my laundry. I yes. can't be doing three, four loads of stuff. I can't do my <laughs> hang dry clothes. I can't do my regular clothes that I that I just throw in the dryer. This is a soft top. No, no, for I'm you. getting passionate about it because I, I can't. I can't clean my sheets. I only have two pairs of sheets, two sets. That's that's normal. I think. I think you're supposed to rotate them in and yeah, out. Maybe. I mean, I go like every two weeks. Yeah. But well, do you clean no, them? My mom cleans yeah, them. Yeah. So what, like, don't look at me. I like never I'm, said you were in the wrong. I said, I just no, said it's no, crazy. No, but I am in the wrong. <laughs> yeah. that's, that's Well, in college, problem. I went a long time. I probably went like, not as long as you now, though. Yeah. Like, I probably went a month. 
Yeah, it's bad. You it's know what though? Bad. You know what though? I'm I'm I've been sleeping in my bed less recently. Yeah. Yeah. I guess I don't stay in my bed as much anymore, so I feel like my my sheets aren't as dirty. I think they're still dirty. They're still dirty. I mean, they are, especially because, you know, the whole, it used to be worse because I used to not shower after the gym. I used to just wash my face and everything was okay. You need some hygiene. No, but I'm clean. You've come a long way. I have come a long way. I've completely changed since we started this. I've, I'm, uh, I got some fashion now. A little Maybe bit. other people have too. Yeah, I don't have fashion. A little bit. Of fashion. Fashion. A little bit of fashion. I got some new pieces the other day. I got some new pieces. Staples quality. I'm not, I sta- new not like I shopped at Staples, but like Staples yeah, within the, that was the wardrobe. All right, you're up. You know what I heard the other day? Just uh, a si- si- sidebar real quick. Back. No, because I got a pair. Did you? Yeah. Wow. Taylor bought me them for Christmas. I got a few nice for shoes. For our anniversary. Um. I saw a video the other day that said you should get rid of 80% of your closet because you don't wear that 80%. I agree. And then, and then that will identify the gaps in your wardrobe, and then you should select mm. from there. I really have to get rid of clothes. Just a quick tip. Quick tip for the quick people. Tip. Donate them. I donate them whenever. I know. I dump them in the, the did, Red I Cross did or whatever. this last week. Oh, amazing. All right. I have another question, a debatable question that I saw. I think Barstool did this or someone, but they posted it and whatever. If you could only have five apps on your phone... What five would you choose? Ooh, now uh, we're thinking that the basic ones are there, like telephone, messaging, internet. That's all there. What about camera and photos? Camera's there. Everything that comes with the iPhone is there. Okay. Hmm. Just accessory app, I, accessory I, applications. I think it's obvious for us. Well, let's break it down here. Well, we have to have TikTok. Yeah, that's a definite. We have to have YouTube. Yeah, I think so, yeah. I need the YouTube Creator Studio on there. Oh, that's, that's waste. That's a spot. It is a spot. You could do that on your laptop. You know no, stop. I'm going to remove YouTube, and I'm only going to keep the studio. Can I do that? Can you upload from there? I don't know. <laughs> you can do that. I don't know. No, 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 no. I'll keep, I'll keep those three. Three? Yeah, yeah. I would just use the studio on my laptop. Okay. But I like having it on my phone. Okay, fine. TikTok and YouTube. TikTok, YouTube. Mm. You need Instagram. I need Instagram. You need Instagram. We need Instagram. Need okay, Instagram. so that's the three. And then and then there's two wild card apps over here that, yeah. that we need uh, you know, off the cuff. Mm. Now, I got some choices on my end. Do you? Yeah. You want to enlighten me? Help I'm, me out? I'm taking Uber. Uber? I'm taking Uber. Uber or Lyft, either one. But I'm taking Uber. I'd be like, if I get lost somewhere, I need Uber. Oh. That's a necessity. Just on my phone, I need that. What about Waze? Are you no, are you just a maps person? Well, that come, it comes with you maps. You just use maps. I use maps. Yeah, and you sit in the traffic. Waze sucks. You do? Wow. Whoa. Can we relax Waze for a second? Sucks. Why? It's led me into these weird places, and it's <laughs> made my trips way longer sometimes. <laughs> I don't know about that one, but uh, yeah, I'm, I would take Uber. I want to look. I want to. Oh, whoa. And then you want to hear my last spot? Yeah. So I was in between three, but I'm just going to list them for you. Any gambling app. Ah. Because it's just fun. <laughs> Gambling is fun. Uh, okay. <laughs> and then 18 birdies. I was going to say Grint. I was going to say Grint because I have all my scorecards, yeah. golfing app for the past a good four one. and a half, five years. Or, or Gmail. The Wawa app. The Wawa app. <laughs> I have so many Wawa points. I kind of like uh, Gmail. I need to get the Wawa app. Yeah, I'm not, I, just, I put I just, it off my entire life. I got it this year. I can get anything in the app free like five times. Yeah. I was with you, and they were like, uh, "They were like, yeah, you should download the app. You got coupons, I, discounts." Wawa sponsor us because I spent the most money there out of anything in my entire life, out I, of any sport. Maybe Gmail. You G- take Gmail? G- well, I feel like that's, that's just the mail app. Like, oh, I hate the mail app. So, what would you take? Instagram, YouTube, TikTok. Give me, yeah, and then give me Gmail. Gmail. And give me Grint. Grint. I'm going Instagram, YouTube, Uber, gambling app. Take it, Wawa. Wow. Yeah. I'm going Wawa. The Wawa app. Wawa app. That's good for you. That is a good one. We did a video last week, um, and I want to do it again this week. Let's do it. Um, we did countries with five letters in their name. Oh, baby. And we're going to do four. Four letters. <sighs> All okay. right. I'm ready. I'm locking in. Can you name seven countries with four letters in their name? Why seven? Is there only seven? No, I just felt like seven was a good number for okay. you. You know, I look at these and there's a lot of them, oh, but God. I think seven's like a good number. All right, all like right, you right. could, you could get. I'm actually pushing you a little bit here. Okay. I think six would have been maybe too Conservative. easy. But seven is a is a good one. Peru. Peru is one of them. There, there you are. We're off to a hot start, and and yeah, you I started with a popular one now. Yeah. Last time you're going all over the place. Peru, 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 Peru. 
All right, let me. I got. I got. Need a second to think about. This. If you ever gave this, Fiji, Fiji is another one. There's two. All right, I'm we got two. If you ready. ever gave this to me, disaster. Please, yeah. please. It, never this do one's it. a tough one. No, this is my segment for you. You don't get to yeah, do okay. this to me. Okay, okay. deal. <laughs> Fiji. Um, let me think. Let me think. Maybe seven was a lot. <laughs> yeah, I think it's gonna be a lot. Nah, you, you got it. Ma, uh, Molly. Molly. You know, that's not one of the ones I thought you were going to get, and you, you did it. I'm really happy Now with you're that ahead one. of the curve. You're ahead, ahead of the curve. ahead of the curve? Yeah, my curve, the, the seven I thought you were going to get are still all available. Okay. Not all available. All right. Sorry. I'm going to go to... Stay local. Stay, stay around stay here. Stay local. Where are we? United right? States. Okay, what's, what's close to us? Below Mexico? Is it below Mexico? Mm, to the right. To the right of Mexico. Oh, we're in the Caribbean. We're in the Caribbean. We're in the Caribbean. Let me think. Laos. Laos. That's, that's that's the Pacific, but Laos. L-A-O-S. <laughs> Laos is there. And thanks for spelling it for me. So therefore, I can clarify it's and huge. make sure. Why that one? I don't know. Where is that? Because it's an island. Okay. It's a Pacific island, I think. All right. You are just um, so interesting. <laughs> you are crazy. Um, okay. All right. Let's go back to Cuba. The, Cuba. <laughs> Cuba song. That, that was an easier one. That was my, a much easier one in my okay. opinion. One, okay. two, three, four, five. You have five countries. You need two more. I have five already? You have five already. That's wow. what I'm saying. This is doable. It's very doable. You might have been able to name all of them. I definitely have five. You have five. Yeah. Peru, Mali, Laos, Fiji, and Cuba. Oh, yeah. Cuba. You need two more. How many are there total? One, two, three, four. I think 12. Okay. And apparently one's like up for debate. But I don't know. <laughs> Togo. Togo is another one. You know what, Brian? <laughs> I really thought you were going to say Togo. I felt like you were going to say Togo, and you did it. You're leaving out, again, oh, some main yes. countries. <laughs> That's but listen, fine. We will take it. You need one more country. <laughs> you need one more. I'm so proud of myself. I'm for proud this. of you. Uh, Honestly, uh, you carry us for geography. I do carry, really us, carry us because I'm not doing anything over here. Mm. Let me think here. Let me I think. I knew here. you were going to say Togo. <laughs> I'm so happy. I should have placed a bet before. Uh, I see. I feel like there's a lot of islands that are really short names, but I don't know a lot of them. Yeah, I mean, you could not do that and be fine. Uh, how about Europe? Is there anything in Europe? I feel like no. Those are long names. No, no Europe. Asia. Asia, yes. It's in Asia. Now we're talking. We're in Asia. Korea, Japan. There's some layups out Thailand. there. Thailand. Layups. Thailand. Indonesia, like Midwest, India, Middle East. Sorry. <laughs> oh, oh, I didn't even think about the Middle East. Yeah. Iraq. Iraq is on there. That's number seven. Yes. Some countries you missed. Iran. You run? Iran. Where'd you run? To Turkey because I was hungry. <laughs> nice. Way to be quick. Some countries you missed. Chad, Guam. I thought you were going to say Guam. I figured Guam would be in yours. Um, Iran, which you just mentioned. Nui, Oman. I'm Oman. not familiar with those ones. I'm not. I'm not there on those ones. Oman's the Oman O and, that you that. Remember when we did the yes, alphabet? We got yes. to O. That was the one. Yes, we I, I kind of know Oman. Um, apparently, Nui N I U E is like up for debate. Don't know that one. It's up for debate. That was pretty damn good. I'm pretty happy with that. I'm so proud of you. Always. I have some geography questions. Oh no. <laughs> <laughs> I know. It's it's a little mm. less challenging than that. All right. I was gonna say let's just wrap up the podcast. No. <laughs> <laughs> um, I want it. Can you name the four countries that start with the letter H? Okay. Now, you could get three. There's no way you get four. I, I know two of them. I got two of them in my head right off the bat. S- send it. Which one do you think I'm going to say first? Which, one? Which, say... one? Which one? Honduras. I thought you were going to say the other one, but yes. Yes. All that's right. one of them. Yeah, that's, right. a, that's an H country. Give me another country. one. We're talking countries. He's pumped so up. Here. Talking countries. Haiti. That's what I thought you were going to say yeah. first. That's another one. That's okay. two out of four. 50%. Right. Let's see if we can get to... Passing seventy five percent. I don't know. You could get it. There's <laughs> two more. There's no way you get the last one. Uh, let's think. Let's. Where think. are we in the Where world right we? now? Where are we? I don't know. I'm going to Europe. Hungary. No, yeah. Yeah. Hungry. Yeah. Ah, hungry. I'm hungry. Hungry is on there. Yes. And then, do we want to throw out some guesses for the last <laughs> one? There's absolutely no chance. Can I guess how many letters there are in it? For it's six. two words. It's two words. First word has four letters. Second word has three letters. Han Paolo. No. On solo? <laughs> what? <laughs> uh, you, I'm throwing out words. I don't know. I don't know what it actually Four letters, is. the first word. Four letters? F- three letters, the second word. H, no. blank, blank, blank. Whole, 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 whole. Close. Very close. Hope. No, go back to the first thing you said. Whole. 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 Holland. 
No. Oh, how, God damn it. I fell Holland's for it. Holland's not a country. I know, I know it's not. I know it's not. Uh, no. Uh, this country has a population of 518 people. No, it's holy. Holy? Holy. Starts with an S. Holy stipe. St- 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 Three letters. Holy shy. Holy. No. Holy sly. No. Holy, holy stew. Think of holy, a plate, like a type of water place. Uh, holy sea. Yes. Holy sea. Holy sea. Oh, man. That's the last one. I've never heard of that. Who's the 518 people that live there? The holy seans. No. (laughs) Holy Holy seans. Where is that? Don't know. You don't know? No, didn't look it up. You didn't look it up. I have another one. All right. Can you name the five countries that start with the letter F? Here we go. Lock in. Yeah, here we go. I'm locked in. Lock in. Finland. Yes. Yeah. Finland. Where is Finland? Finland. Europe. Yes. Yeah. I know things it's across the across the the passage across the sea the from Sweden. Sea from Sweden. Yes. <laughs> uh, let's go Fiji. Can I get Fiji's a Fiji's there? All right. That's money. That is money. Well, now he's feeling it. Now we're stumped. Where did we go? There's one that you 100 percent can get, and the other two are tough. Four and five, they're tough. Uh, F F F. Just think. Ah. Sound it out. Yes, France. Yeah. <laughs> yes, France is on there. France is on there. Yes, that's one, two, three. France, Fr- France, Finland, Fiji. We do the worst accents. <laughs> yeah, I know. Yeah, it's a France. Four, oh, come on. You got two more here. You're not going to get these, You're are you? You're not going to get them? Um, there's one in Africa. One's a <laughs> chain of islands. Oh. The second word of the country is islands. The Fenary Islands. No. The f- fiducial Islands. No. <laughs> Fiduciary. Uh you're up on top of England, up over on like by Ireland and everything. By Ireland, yeah, you're in the you're in the water. You're this is a cold place. Fork, no, <laughs> Forked River in New Jersey, <laughs> no. You're like near Iceland. Fine, no, the uh, Faroe Islands. Faroe Islands. <laughs> you didn't know that. Yeah, did you? you know, I was on the tip of my tongue. And I then was at it. the last one is similar to one that you named. Let's get that done first. Fi, fa, no. Fij, fin, no. What's the other? Fran. Fran okay. Fran, what are the people from France called? French. Yes. French. That's the first word. French. French. Islands. No. <laughs> it's it's the Pacific. What's the area of the Pacific Islands? What if you're from there? What do you call them? What's what are the, they called? Uh, the, the French Caribbean. Pa. The, palm. Pal. Palio. No. I don't know what I'm like saying. A, close to a disease. Okay. Polio? <laughs> French Polynesia. Oh. That's what they're called? Polynesian? I don't know anything. Yeah. That was that's it? Yeah, that was it. That was oh, that was God. five. Jeez. You get me all worked up. All right. I want you to answer this. <laughs> I'm ready. For We're gonna ask you some questions. <laughs> it's not a pig. It's a, uh undisclosed brand. Oh god. Okay. <laughs> I ripped the label okay. off. Of. All right. Now, I don't know. I don't know if you've seen this before. Let's see. Have it. you seen this trend? <laughs> no. Okay. Is it open or closed? Is the bottle open or closed? Is it open or closed? It's a, it's closed. It's open. No, 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 no. You had it. <laughs> it's, it's closed. closed it's right? closed. All right. All right. It's currently closed. You ready? Yeah. Is it open or closed? It's closed. It's open. I don't know. What you're uh, here we about. go. <laughs> <laughs> this is going to be so much fun. Oh, all right. <laughs> is it open or closed? I would assume it's closed. It's open. Oh, it's open. Yeah, you're is not it? you're not doing great here. What about this one? Let's get a little fancy here. Is it open or closed? That that's open. This one's closed. Okay. Okay. It's closed. Mm. Mm. All right. Mm. Okay. <laughs> How are you feeling? No, not good. <laughs> you feel confused? Yeah, I'm a little confused here. Let's put it like here. So that one was open. The last one or closed? Closed. Oh, okay. I think. Is it open or closed? That's open. It is open. Okay. Nice. Very well done. Am I picking up on something? <laughs> I don't think you are. What if we, what if I did this? You ready? <laughs> well, this time it's actually open. But <laughs> you ready? <laughs> yeah. Is it open or closed? It's closed. It is closed. Yeah. Good. Yeah. Is it open or closed? It's closed. Is it open? <laughs> no, this you, what did o- you change? This one's open. So now I'm throwing off. <laughs> you don't understand it? No, I thought I had it. I'm going to try and get you there, all right? Okay. We're going to get you there. Is it open or closed? Oh, it's open. <laughs> <laughs> it's open, all right. Yeah. <laughs> Is it open or closed? 
It's closed. It's your mouth. It's my mouth. All right. Uh, that was tough. There's a lot of people on the internet doing this. Oh, I figured I we ought to was, try. Uh, I thought it was your finger being on the lid or not. No, no, no. That no, wouldn't make any could, sense well, at all. It would have made some sense. I showed you a little. Well, no, because I was holding the same yeah, one. Earlier. That's why I was confused. For people on the audio podcast, I was holding a water bottle. Yeah. Well, an undisclosed brand soda water bottle. <laughs> yeah. Water bottle. Who knows if it's even soda? Who knows? It could be pee. It could be anything. Could be pee. That was fun. I was hoping you didn't see that because it's all over our makeshift feed. I did feed. not see it was that. All over the makeshift feed. I don't go on the makeshift feed. I know you don't. Um. All right. I got one for you. Okay. Rank these five movie franchises in order from highest grossing to least. Okay. Here we go. Movie franchises. Movie franchises. See how much money they. Make. Okay. Let's see the money. <laughs> Toy Story. Spider Man. Yeah, you want to write this You're down? You're good. You want okay. to write that down? I got it. Toy Story, Spider-Man, Avatar, Fast and Furious, and Star Wars. What franchise made the most money? What made the least? And fill it in between. I'm going to start at the least. Okay. And this is what I'm, I do. Do you want me to tell you the answers as we go? Well, this is really tough. Do you want the answers as we go? Should, I feel like we should submit for the end. Submit right? for the Lock end. Lock it yeah. in, go and then it. you tell me. Go for it. Um, this is really tough. Yeah, it is tough. I don't think there's been enough Spider-Man movies to be able to be near the top of this list. Okay. So, I'm so gonna, are you feeling reverse right now? I'm going I'm going lowest first. So, okay. So number five number is Number five, I'm going to put Spider-Man. Spider-Man at number five. Okay. Actually. Oh. Mm, he's rethinking his thought process. No, no. Mm. I'm going to put Toy Story at five. Toy only, Story at five. There's only four movies. Toy Story. And then I I'm going to put five. Uh, Whatever. Four. I think they're coming out with a five. Okay. Um, Toy Story at five. I'm going to put Spider-Man at four. Tobey okay. Maguire. Lock that the in. The new movies. They kill. Yeah, Tom they Holland. They got to be generating a ton of money. But you're putting them at the bottom of the list. Yes. And then I'm going to go Fast and Furious because there's a million of these movies. There, okay. There's so many of them. You're that, putting that, them mid-tier. That has to be in the middle. Okay. It's just quantity-wise. And I think they're popular enough that okay. they, they're played all the time. Okay. Uh, I want to say Avatar might be the highest, but there's only two movies. There is only two, but I think that they're like in the top five highest grossing movies individually of all time. Yeah, I think I think definitely two in the top ten. Uh, I think so it's one I'm, three. I'm kind of going against my own theory, but I'm going to put Avatar at two, and I'm going to go Star Wars last as the highest grossing ones. I think I did all right. I think I got one or two wrong, but I think it did all right. Okay, so your list is Star Wars, Avatar, Fast and Furious, Spider-Man, Toy Story. Yeah, let's hear it. Oh. All right. Yeah. So coming in last place, I don't, I don't like the, the least grossing movie. I don't like the look of this. Is Toy Story. Okay. That's one. I did it right. You're one for one. I'm one for one. One for one. Toy Story made $3.3 billion. Okay. Everything else is above that. Okay. The fourth place one. I didn't get this one right. You didn't get this one right. No. It's not Spider-Man. It's Avatar. It's Avatar. They made $5.24 billion. Well, there's only two movies. I should have known. You should have known. You said it. it. Went with the, the, I had the trend going, going and then I went against went with it. with the gut. Um, and then the third, you said Fast and Furious. Yes. That's correct. All right. Seven point three three billion. Now now listen. You were off with the Spider Man one. You put them at a four. Sorry. It's okay. <laughs> Don't say sorry to me. Sorry to Tom. Holland. That sorry, is. Tom. <laughs> Number two. You put Star Wars at one. That's incorrect. Star Wars is two. Okay. Spider Man's number one? Spider Man is number one. On this list, they made ten point five billion dollars. Okay, you act like I was so well. I was. You far. were. I put them at four because <laughs> I didn't have the order correct or right. Ah, uh, okay, that one hurt a little bit. It's okay. Um, just funny little thing to end the podcast. I got another one of those games for the next podcast. So if you like oh. that, stay tuned. Stay tuned. Come back. Podcast sixty four coming out. Um, I don't know if we're gonna clip this or what's gonna happen Go from for it. it. I just want to say it because say I'm it. I'm doing it. Say away. Pooping in the dark is awesome. <laughs> have you ever done it? Yeah, I, I have done it. It's it's meditating. It's relaxing. It's everything I needed to be. I actually do that more often than in the light in my own house. <laughs> wait, 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 I'm wait. not joking. Okay. What? <laughs> <laughs> you joking. said it, not yeah, me. But the reason why I'm I said it. I'm hopping on the bandwagon. Uh, I guess so. The reason why I got a nightlight for the bathroom. <laughs> it's fantastic. I'm really taking holy crafts in there. Thank you. I'll be here all night. Um, joke. No, I added a, uh, a nightlight to the bathroom, and let me tell you, it's awesome. It's just in the dark. You feel relaxed. I'm, I'm, if you're watching this on the phone, I'm telling you, next time you go number two, put your phone down. 
Turn the lights off. Relax a <laughs> just little bit. Think about it. Just just get in there and just, you know what? People who are on their phones when they're on the toilet, you're wasting time. So do you think it's more rewarding than going in an ice bath, that trend? Yeah. This Pooping is the new the this is the new ice bath. <laughs> That's <laughs> this, what you is think? The, this is the new ice bath. Forget all those things. You don't have to suffer like that. Joe Rogan's just, wrong. Just turn the lights off. Stay off your phone in the bathroom. You'll be out of there faster than than being on your phone scrolling through mindlessly. And listen. I kind of enjoy going on my phone when I'm this, open. Yeah, and you know what I'm saying this, and this is the business we're in, right? This is the bit we're in the business yeah. of toilet scrolling. Stay on your phone. Someone might be watching this and is on the toilet right now. Ah. Keep your phone on. Finish watching. We're almost done. But <laughs> when next we're done, time, <laughs> next time you go, just only try, watch us. Just try it once. Just try it once. And you I know agree. What? It's more sanitary. I got a bunch of reasons for this stuff. <laughs> you're touching your phone. You're touching a lot of other things in the bathroom. You don't want that on your screen. A lot going on. Uh, my mom, my mom saw there wasn't a light on, but heard the phone on when I was pooping in the bathroom, and she was like, "Why are you? Yeah. Why is it dark? It's, <laughs> why is it dark?" I said, "Because I like if you're the in dark. A, if you're in a group place, though, do not try this because you want to make sure people know you're in the bathroom. Yeah, like Especially a party. If, like if you're at a stranger's house, you don't know if the locked door works. You're that type of guy to just poop in anybody's house. Oh, all the time. <laughs> I, had, I, I had an emergency alert the other day. Oh, I, had, I had a scramble. Yeah. New house. New, new house with new my house. friends. I had to go in. He will not be I disclosed. To, I had to do the business. All right. That's podcast it. Podcast 63. Podcast 63. That's a long one. I think, I think we're trending towards a longer podcast. We, I think we, we are too. We got a lot of content. We're going to have more time. We're going to have, have more prep time in the future, in the near future, and we'll be we'll be up, up and onwards we and got a lot of way to hour long podcasts. Two hours. And long. then we're going to have guests, more guests, I think. I can't wait to have guests. I think we're going to have guests. We might have our first guest in studio. <laughs> you know how many times we've hinted? We got yeah. these guests. We got this person coming in. And people are like, who is it? Who is it? And then it just uh, never it falls through. Panned out. But first guest in the studio, I think later. We think it will happen. I'm going to say <laughs> March. Yeah. And the merch will also drop. Yeah. <laughs> eventually. All okay. Right.